وآباكم الله يقول السائل هل الذي يتورع عن أكل اللحوم المستوردة من ذبائح أهل الكتاب والتي لا يعرف كيفية ذبحها هل أصاب أم هو مخطي الحمد لله اللحوم متوفرة اللي تذبح في بلد وفي تربية المواشي و الطيور كثيرة تغني اشتر من ذبح البلد وما ينتج من البلد ما في شك ان هذا ابرى لذمتك واحوط نعم بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Alama bin Fuzain, Hafidullah Ta'ala, was asked, and of course we have to keep in context that this is a fatwa for Saudi, which is a Muslim land, so it's a bit different than our situation where we eat the meat, uh, where we live in a non-Muslim land and, and so forth. So this fatwa was pertinent to living in a Muslim land. The Shaykh was asked, Hafidullah Ta'ala, is it from piety that a person eats, uh, uh, refrains from eating the imported meat from the people of the book and that uh, the, the imported meat that was slaughtered by the, by the people of the book, meaning the Jews and Christians, and that meat that a person is unaware of how it was uh, slaughtered, so the person who does this, are they correct or are they incorrect? Meaning the person who refrains from eating this meat out of, uh, out of uh, piety, are they correct or incorrect? The sheikh answered, Hafidullah Ta'ala, he said, all praise belongs to Allah. The meat uh, that is, uh, meat, is uh, meat is widespread that has been slaughtered in the, in the country, local meat. And livestock and birds are in abundance. So that is sufficient. He said, buy from that meat that has been slaughtered in the country and grown here in the country that you have no doubt about. And that is safer for you. And it is... Uh, will help you meet your responsibilities. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.